All right, let's see what this character's about. Most people see only half of the world. The places they find barren and broken can be fascinating and beautiful, teeming with life. My research will help them see. I'll help them see. The other side of that path is definitely interesting. Whoa, KDA vision. The whole view is so much greater. That is some dang stuff. Like that, that is like freaky. It's like her eye, her ears look like lava lamps or like they're on fire. What does the next thing show us? We're in her realm now. I go where my research takes me. She's cute. Think? Hello, little spirit. Hey, Greg has made it into a champion trail with once. So few see the world as I do. Zoe Q? You're in my realm now. Whoa. Okay, uh, first dude. This is field research. Arena. Enough of that, thank you. Is this, like, one ability or bolt? Okay, so clearly a mid lane mage. The witch motif kind of give away on okay, that. Okay, back to work. The spirits here still need me. Does she use portals? Or what? Because hold up. Okay, so it looks like enemies can't escape this zone she puts up. And she does insane burst damage. But that tail is huge. Let's see what she actually does. Okay, over here on the main page, her ability rundown, step into the spirit world. Okay, so, her passive spirit abjuration, that's an interesting word, her spells and attacks exercise spirits from the enemies she damages, exercise spirits follow Aurora around, healing her and giving her bonus move speed. Okay. Okay, so it's a three-hit passive, and she gets a little spirit. Oh, temporarily. Okay, so she's basically got a ranged Xin Zhao passive for her passive. So it's like Akshan's speed boost with Xin Zhao's heal. That kind of feels, and with how much range she's got, that kind of feels a little annoying. Plus, it says her abilities can proc it too. Twofold Hex. She sends out a missile that curses any enemy it hits. It, she can then recast it to draw active curses back towards herself, damaging foes who are hit along the way. So... Hold up. So she sends it out. It has a set range. They've got the mark, which means... She draws them back. So does that mean that when they come back... Like, they will go, the one furthest from the back will go through enemies as well? Tough to say. But, it's interesting. Like, I was thinking more like REQ or Sivir Q. Across the veil, she leaps in the direction of her choosing, entering the spirit realm upon landing and becoming invisible for a short duration of time. Hmm. Okay, so she has a dash, which could probably go over walls. I just noticed the uh, Faker logo in the center of the ring. Her rift, which is a little bit of a nice touch for a $500 skin. Becoming Okay, so she can go invis, so she can roam with this. 
Oh boy. That's not gonna be fun to deal with. The weirding. <laughs> the weirding? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Best name for a move, hands down. She unlocks a window to the spirit realm, sending out a blast of spirit magic that damages and slows enemies before Aurora hops back towards safety. Okay, so she has another tool that has some mobility. So it's like Velkaz. It's, it's one of Velkaz's abilities. It's not the AoE. It's like his W or his E. I think it's his W where he shoots out the wave like that. Not the one with the knockup, but it does two bits of damage. The initial and then the burst out of the ground. But she does that little hop back. So you could use this to go over thin enough walls as an escape tool. So she's got two dashes, two very short range hops. We'll call them hops, not dashes, because we got to stick with the bunny theme. And her ultimate between worlds. She leaps in a direction of her choosing, releasing a shockwave that damages and slows any enemies they hit. Afterwards, she creates an area that traps enemies within it and allows Aurora to teleport from one side to the other. Excuse me? Okay, so it's kind of like a Camille ult. Okay, so they're stuck in. This is literally a kindred range Camille ult. But it actually gives her some crazy, tricky dueling potential. So she can also... She's got like three escape tools. Plus, it slows, so she could literally use this to, like, play some crazy big brain maneuvers. I don't know what this chick is going to be like, but... I'm pretty sure everybody's just going to be going, Oh, bunny girl, we need a battle bunny skin, we need another battle bunny skin, and I'm like... I can't say no to that. Really can't. But in all honesty, I kind of... I do like the glasses, but also her voice, she does sound a little bit of the, uh, how do I put this, the mature side. I go where my research takes me. How do I put this? She sounds like Velma from Scooby-Doo before the show went to complete, before the character got turned into a complete pile of shit. If you know, you know. Seriously, we should have gotten rid of that entire show. We should have not enabled them to make a second season. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. 